Nandan Kanan Zoological Park is a premier zoo of India. Unlike other zoos in the country, Nandan Kanan is built right inside the forest and set in a completely natural environment. The animals are housed in enclosures with greenery and the feel of a real forest. They live with no fear or apprehension of becoming the hunter's prey. Located in Bhubaneswar, Odisha's capital, Nandan Kanan was established in 29 December 1960 over an area of 362 hectares. It has spearheaded many significant improvements to provide the highest standard of housing, husbandry and health care to the captive wild animals and has contributed towards enriching our knowledge of biology concerning endangered species. The zoo was conceived to protect the natural environment and the animals living in it. It was declared as a sanctuary on 3rd August 1979, spreading over an area of 437 hectares. Amidst the beauty of enigmatic nature, the sanctuary comprises a zoological park, state botanical garden and a national wetland, the Kanjia Lake. Nandan Kanan is derived from the Nandan Bana of the epics, which means Garden of the Gods. The word Kanan is related to a story which dates back to 1967 when the zoo had just been built and was yet to be declared a sanctuary. One night, possibly the last tigress of the forest jumped into the newly built cage to meet Pradeep, the only tiger in the zoo at the time. The aged tigress was named Kanan and she lived in the cage until her death in 1978. A couple of years ago, a wild tiger named Nandan living in the forest outside Nandan Kanan fell in love with a caged tigress here. One day, he scaled the 18 feet high iron mesh fencing and jumped into the enclosure to meet his lady love. Living peacefully in the zoo, Nandan has fathered two cubs during the year 2016. This premier zoo was the world's first captive crocodile breeding center where gharials were bred in captivity in 1980. The same year, two normal tigers in Nandan Kanan gave birth to three white tiger cubs, the first such occurrence anywhere in the world. Since then, white tigers have been regularly bred here. Nandan Kanan has been internationally acclaimed for its highest collection of white tigers in the world. Besides gharials and white tigers, leopards, pangolin, mouse deer, lions, rattle and vultures are also bred here. It is recognized as a leading zoo for the conservation of the Indian pangolin and white tigers. Many of the animals and birds are also exchanged with animals and birds from other zoos in the country and outside. It has the glory of having more than 3,073 animals of 154 species, including 1,198 mammals of 41 species, 1,588 birds of 81 species, 266 reptiles of 26 species and 21 amphibians of 6 species. Nandan Kanan is the first zoo in India with the White Tiger Safari. It brings the visitors in close proximity to the animals which roam freely in the open jungle. A 20-minute drive through the meandering roads crisscrossing the natural forest in a specially protected vehicle takes the visitors straight into the tiger, lion, bear and herbivore safari. 
the herbivore safari houses barking deers, spotted deers, sambar, four-horned antelope, wild boars, jungle fowl and peafowl. Visitors can also sight sloth bears in their natural habitat through safari bus service. A hospital for the animals works round the clock to meet emergencies and routine preventive and curative health care. There are many caretakers here who have friends and family for the animals. The caretakers help orphaned offspring of animals and birds grow. They prepare food for all inhabitants, feed them and also give them a luxurious bath. It has a well-functioning system of animal fodder which caters to the nutritional requirements of all the inhabitants in the zoological park along with one slaughterhouse to feed the carnivores. The beauty of Nandan Kanan is a world-class care and services for all its inhabitants by providing quality food, medical care, equipment, upgradation of the enclosure and enrichments. Nandan Kanan thrives on care, love and affection. The sanctuary is also home to different varieties of plants, shrubs and trees. A botanical garden spread over 75 hectares is situated in sylvan settings of the moist deciduous forest in the sanctuary. A diverse variety of plants, orchids, creepers, cacti, palms and 704 species of plants are seen here. The State Botanical Garden for Tree Lovers was established in 1963 for the conservation and study of trees, plants, shrubs and creepers. Many rare species of flowers, leaves and medicinal plants are on display here for the visitors to see and identify. The Kanjia Lake spread over 66.1 hectares is home to more than 60 species of birds. Migratory birds arrive here in huge numbers every year. In recent years, open bill storks have been making nests near the crocodile pond and living here for a few months every year since 2000. The lake is an important wetland of the sanctuary and plays a vital role in meeting the freshwater requirements. It serves as a living laboratory for the wetland education program of school children. Boating on paddle or rowboats in the blue waters of Kanja Lake provides an exhilarating experience to the visitors. Nandan Kanan also has a reptile park which is home to a variety of rare and endangered species of reptiles. An aquarium houses a number of marine fish species. Moreover, separate houses have been built for nocturnal animals. A walk through the aviary of exotic birds presents a magnificent view of the birds and their natural activities. A toy train along the Kanjia Lake is soon to be set up in Nandan Kanan which will be a thrilling experience for the children. Apart from this, Nandan Kanan has plans to come up with an aerial ropeway across the Kanjia Lake from the zoo to the botanical garden. It will provide visitors with an aerial view of the zoo, lake and the botanical garden. Thousands of visitors throng Nandan Kanan every day and more than 3.3 million visitors come here each year. Children come to see and know about birds and animals to learn to love nature, to protect it and live in its lap. Adults enjoy its beauty and serenity to breathe easy under the open sky and away from the worries of urban life. Nandan Kanan is God's garden where man, animal and plant live in harmony. Each has their own space as animals, birds, reptiles and plants live in complete freedom. Deer, sambar, hare, porcupines and peacocks roam freely in the sanctuary without any fear.
freedom prevails where there is no fear, where there is only love and affection. Nandan Kanan is the first zoo in the world to breed white tigers and melanistic tiger. Nandan Kanan is the only conservation breeding center of Indian pangolins in the world. Nandan Kanan is the only zoological park in India to become an institutional member of World Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Nandan Kanan is the only zoo in India after which an express train the Puri New Delhi Express has been named as Nandan Kanan Express. Nandan Kanan is the first zoo in India where endangered rattle was born in captivity. Nandan Kanan is the only zoo in India to have an open top leopard enclosure. Nandan Kanan is the second largest heronry of open built stocks in Odisha. Nandan Kanan has the most attractive satellite gardens such as carnivorous plant garden and butterfly park in the botanical garden. Nandan Kanan is the only zoo in India with a captive slaughterhouse. Nandan Kanan is the third zoo in the country with a live animal feed center that nurtures and produces live feed such as guinea pig, albino mice, chicks and mealworm to meet the protein requirements of the birds and animals. Nandan Kanan is one of the few zoos in the world to have a captive fodder farm and a slaughterhouse to cater to the dietary needs of animals housed in the zoological park. Nandan Kanan is the first zoological park in India to have electronic security installed. Nandan Kanan is the only zoological park in India offering tourist guides in different languages in fixed charges. Nandan Kanan has a museum where trophies of rare dead animal species are preserved which draws researchers and other visitors. Nandan Kanan offers souvenirs for the tourists at a shop inside the sanctuary. Nandan Kanan offers all types of facilities for the children, pregnant women and physically disabled tourists for a pleasant experience. Nandan Kanan is 15 kilometers from Odisha's capital, Bhubaneswar. The Bhubaneswar railway station is at a distance of 18 kilometers and the Biju Patnaik International Airport is at a distance of 20 kilometers. Tourist cottages inside Nandan Kanan are available for accommodation only during daytime on prior reservation from the office of the Deputy Director, Nandan Kanan Zoological Park.